Hello on this Tuesday, the 11th day of September 2007, I'm Kristen Volk with the UPI Headline Update. A new Bin Laden video was released today on the 6th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, but the authenticity of the video cannot be confirmed yet. A voice speaking in Arabic is heard over a still picture of the terror mastermind. In the 47-minute tape, Bin Laden reportedly does the introduction, praising 9-11 hijacker Wali al-Shari from Saudi Arabia. Sherry sat on American Airlines Flight 11, which crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. The additional 30,000 troops sent to Iraq in January could come home by next July. That's according to the top U.S. military commander there, General David Petraeus. But he added in yesterday's testimony to Congress that further American withdrawals would be premature, saying their experience in Iraq has shown that projecting too far into the future can be misleading and hazardous. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the strategy unacceptable. Senator Larry Craig reportedly believes he has a good enough case to reverse his guilty plea. Craig's attorney filed a motion yesterday to change the plea that stems from charges involving a Minnesota sex sting. The attorney is claiming that the arresting police officer bullied the Idaho senator into admitting guilt. But analysts say Craig's chances of remaining in office past the end of the month remain small. And Senator Hillary Clinton is returning more than $800,000 in contributions tied to disgraced fundraiser Norman Sue. The Democratic presidential candidate will reportedly send the money back to about 260 donors. Sue has been one of the Democratic Party's leading fundraisers, but it was revealed last month that he was allegedly a fugitive in an investment fraud case in the 1990s. He was arrested last week in Colorado. A Clinton official said in a statement that the campaign was unaware of his alleged illegal activities and have put in more rigorous background checks for future donors. Thanks for watching today's news headline and check out upi.com for more news and updates. Have a great day.